Hello there, this is Rahul. I hope you are doing good. And in today's session, we are going to talk about how to validate your Kubernetes configuration. But before we directly jump into the demo, let's try to understand why do we need to validate our Kubernetes configuration. If you have previously worked with the Kubernetes, then you might be familiar with the different type of Kubernetes configuration. But for today's demo, what we are going to do, we are going to take some two basic uh, Kubernetes configuration and we call it as a deployment configuration and another one we call it as a service configuration. Here you can see this is my Kubernetes manifest for deploying my Spring Boot application and this is my deployment manifest. Here I have defined the deployment name uh, in the metadata name tag and along with that I have defined the docker image URL or docker image name from where we will be pulling the docker hub image for my Spring Boot application. And along with that there are some other configuration like a rec resource request memory, port, Along with that, I have defined readiness, liveness, startup props. And if you go into the service, then uh, you will find that I have defined the service type, then I have defined the ports. So this is just a basic example where you need to define these certain types of configuration inside your Kubernetes manifest to deploy your application inside your Kubernetes cluster. So consider a scenario like you are working in a day-to-day -day basis on a Kubernetes manifest, you are updating it, but by any chance if you have missed to define port and you didn't specify the port and you pushed these changes into your either development test or in a staging or prod uh, environment. So what will happen? This deployment will fail and eventually you will notice that the deployment didn't go successfully then what you will do you will go into the pod logs and you will just look for the issues why it didn't work so you will check the logs and then you will eventually notice that i have forgot to define the port which is like this so i have not defined the container port which is 8080 and due to which my deployment is failing so is there a way that I can identify these issues before I actually deploy them into my production or stage environment? The answer is yes, there is a really good tool named as Dartree and this tool will help you to validate your Kubernetes configuration and eventually it will help you to prevent from putting incorrect or wrong configuration into your production or stage environment. Now how to use the Dartree tool? So if you head over to their document section, then they have a really good documentation like how to install Dartry and how to use it. So we'll first start by installing Dartry onto our development machine. So here, if you head over to their installation guide, then you will find all the options like Docker, for Linux, for Mac OS, for Homebrew, if you are using Homebrew as your package manager, like on your Mac operating system. And if you are using Windows, then you should use this uh, command line tool. But since I'm using Linux, then, then I'm just going to use this command line for installing Dartry onto my Ubuntu operating system. Here is the terminal and I just copied the installation command for Linux and I'm just going to paste it over here and hit enter. And here you can see our installation of a Dartry tool has finished. It's really quick. Let's verify the installation of a Dartry by running the command Dartry onto your terminal and it will uh, tell you a message like Dartry is a static code analysis tool for Kubernetes file. So if you get this message, that means uh, you have successfully installed Dartry onto your machine. One more thing along with the today's demo, I'm just going to share this guide and you will find the link of this guide into the description section. So all the instruction like installation instruction, Kubernetes manifest, uh, which I will be using throughout this demo. So with it will be available onto this guide. So feel free to use this guide for your reference. Now the next thing which we are gonna see how to use the Dartry tool. So here I have already copied my Kubernetes manifest for my Spring Boot deployment application. And if you open this Kubernetes manifest for Spring Boot application, then you will notice I have removed some of the configuration. And the configuration which I have removed over here is the liveness prop, readiness prop, and startup props. So, so those are the props which I have removed from my Kubernetes configuration. So I know there are some issues which is already available or which are already present into my Kubernetes manifest. So I'm just going to uh, test using the Dartry tool. Now let's clear the screen over here and the command for testing our Kubernetes manifest is Dartry followed by the keyword test and after that you can specify your Kubernetes manifest name. So this is my Kubernetes manifest and simply hit enter. 
So here you can see uh, this is these are the messages or the validation errors which I have got from Dartree. So here it is saying like prevent service from exposing on a node port. So that's our first validation uh, error I would say. The second thing which it says is like each uh, ensure each container has configured a liveness prop. Okay, so that we know we have already removed the liveness prop configuration from our Kubernetes manifest. And secondly, it is also complaining for the readiness prop that we also know because that we have all already removed from our Kubernetes manifest. If you read further the output of your dart test command, then you will notice it is also highlighting you like three of your misconfiguration over here and 17 of your configuration which has been passed. But there is a one more cool feature of our Dartry tool which I would like to show you. Uh, it will give you an URL and that's the URL of your Dartry dashboard I would say. So just copy this URL from here, go to your browser and open this URL. So this is the default dashboard of our Dartry tool. If you are using the Dartry tool for the first time, then before viewing this dashboard, it will ask you for some kind of authentication. So I have used my GitHub authentication to authorize and to view this dashboard. All right, so on this dashboard, you can view the same misconfiguration which we have just seen onto our terminal. So if you go onto this history option over here, then you will notice uh, you are also getting the same uh, validation error messages which we got onto our terminal. So this I have run it six minutes ago and you can see all the same messages like uh, you need to exp you should not expose using node port, you are missing liveness and the readiness prop. So this is a common dashboard uh, which you can access via this URL which is provided uh, by Dartry tool when you run the Dartry test command and this URL you can share with your team also. So anyone uh, within your team can access this uh, Dartry dashboard and they can view those configuration errors and the messages. Let's get back to our terminal and fix all those misconfiguration. So here this is my terminal. So what I'm going to do first of all I'm just going to erase my uh, Kubernetes misconfiguration and I'm, I'm just gonna paste the correct one over here so I'm just erasing it we can view the configuration once again so yeah our file is completely empty so again go back to my visual studio and here this is my correct configuration where we have readiness liveness prop and also we need to fix one thing that is node port so it is saying like we should not use node port instead we should use cluster IP so I'm just gonna replace it with the cluster IP. So I just wanted to run this service on a cluster IP. So copy this configuration from here and uh, go back to your terminal. Open the same uh, YML file that is K8 Spring Boot and just paste the configuration over here. Okay and just save the configuration. After saving the configuration, let's rerun the Dartree test command. So I'm just going to run Dartree test. And here you can see uh, our misconfiguration count is now zero and our correct configuration counts is 20. So again, if you copy the same URL and go back to your browser and paste it over here. and go to your history tab. So here you can see uh, we have run the Dartree test tool just a few seconds ago and all of our misconfiguration has been passed. Now our misconfiguration has been passed and there is no issues associated with our Kubernetes configuration. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna apply that uh, Kubernetes configuration. So I just clear the screen and the command which I'm just gonna use is kubectl apply F and then my Kubernetes manifest for Spring Boot application and simply hit enter. Now let's check the status of our Kubernetes deployment as well as Kubernetes service which we have defined in our Kubernetes manifest. So the command for that is kubectl get all and here first of all let's check the deployment. So we have defined two replica set uh, which we wanted to have it and if you go back over here into manifest so there are two replicas. So first of all let's check the deployment so yeah we have a two replica set and the service so our service is jhook spring boot and we have defined to be run it on a cluster ip and the cluster ip address is this 
The next thing what we can do, I have created a very basic hello world rest endpoint inside my Spring Boot application, so which we can access using the cluster IP. So the command which I'm gonna use is curl uh, followed by the cluster IP, that is this. I'm just gonna paste it over here. And then the port and the rest hello point URL. So that is hello. So here you can see this is the hello world message which I am getting over here. So that means uh, we are successfully able to deploy our uh, Spring Boot application and then we are going, uh, we have exposed the service using the cluster IP. And all that we have uh, validated using the tool that is Dartry. Also, I can show you the code of my Rust endpoint because I have not shown to you. So this is my Java application and uh, this is my Rust endpoint. So here you can see, this is the Rust endpoint which I have defined inside my Spring Boot application. And this is the message uh, which I was expecting. And if you go back to terminal, then you will see the same message over here. So this is just an extra validation which I just wanted to show to you. Apart from validating the Kubernetes manifest, uh, Dartry also provide a plugin for your Helm chart. So if you are using Helm chart for managing your Kubernetes uh, uh, deployment and services, then I would highly recommend to use their Helm plugin because that will definitely help you to uh, prevent the misconfiguration happening into your Helm chart. I hope you liked the today's session on a Dartry tool and how to use the Dartry tool to improve your Kubernetes misconfiguration. If you have any questions or queries regarding a today's session, then please put down into the comment section. And if you are interested into the similar content on Kubernetes, Docker, Helm chart, or Terraform, then please uh, do follow my channel where I keep on posting similar content on a weekly basis. So see you into the next session of a DevOps. Till then, bye-bye and take care.